Hi, welcome to my second Onshape video tutorial. I want to show you how to do an as assembly in Onshape. So let's start by inserting some parts. Let's go for the ground plate. And just position it on the origin right here and right click and fix it. Next one would be this one. Move it over here close this one and now use some constraints and position this part on the right place. Let's go for planner mate one two nice Confirm. You can drag the parts or components with the left mouse button. Okay, now let's use these holes for the next positioning. So I want to have a revolute mate. This, that's one connector. Okay. And the second one would be this one. Confirm. And another one. Let's do it over here. Would be this one and that one and confirm. So this should be positioned and fixed. Okay, next part. You may notice that's the assembly which I did in all other programs as well. So let's go for this part. Confirm. Again, a planner constraint, or in this case it's called mate. Planner. That's one face. That's the second face. Confirm. Move it a little bit. Okay, usually I would use plane for the positioning of these two components, but I will go for a planar mate. So this face and that face. change the direction and confirm. So this didn't work the way it's supposed to do, so maybe I could Go for a different solution. Confirm. That's more like it. Okay, next part. 
I might go for the lever this one just put it maybe right here confirm now a plano one from this face come on to that face confirm and I might need a cylindrical mate from this one to that one and confirm. Let's check if it's still able to move. Yes, both components can still move. Fine. But seems I got the wrong mate, so let's delete the last one and check it out. Move this right here. So I want a cylindrical one from this to that one. Confirm. Yes, that's more like it. To make this work, I need one part. And that's this pin. Confirm. to align the axis, so this one, to this one, come on, yes. You can take a look at the degrees of freedom by animating it. Confirm. And now I need a tangent mate from this face, this one, to that face. Now that's more like it again. And then another tangent one from this face to that cylindrical face. Confirm. And now it should already work. And it did, it does. Nice. So what's missing? Some bolts, screws and a thick bolt. So let's go for the big one, insert 
browse documents, my documents, and that's this guy. There should be a planner made from this face to that face. Firm and a cylindrical one with cylinder to that one. And confirm. Still works. Now I need these two pins and two screws. So insert one of the screws and that face okay that's interesting confirm Let's see if we can still move it. Yes. And then there could be, for example, a cylindrical one from this cylinder to that one. Confirm. Now let's make a pattern with this screw. So it should be a linear pattern. And I want to pattern this component. The direction should be this edge. Distance should be 70. And it should be the other way around. No, it's not 70, it's 75. Yes, and confirm. Still one, let's say two parts missing. That's one pin. make it a cylindrical one not a revolute one but a cylindrical one this cylinder should be aligned with this one confirm and then I might go for a tangent one. This one. Tangent to that one. Confirm. Check it. That's okay. That 
that's okay. Just reverse the direction and it's in. And another linear pattern with this component. Direction again is given by that edge. Reverse 75 as distance and confirm. So that's an assembly done in on shape, and you can see it moves according to the mates. Seems to be very easy to do assemblies in on shape. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you to the next one. Bye bye.